Corsair are aiming for the budget market once again with the newly released Harpoon Mouse. When I heard this mouse was being released I quickly looked at the specs but my jaw dropped once I seen the recommended retail price. 25 UK pounds in the UK and 29.99 US dollars in the US and at those prices the Harpoon could end up being the greatest budget mouse of all time. Featuring the Pixar PMW3320 optical sensor and it has a maximum DPI of 6000 going all the way down to 250 DPI. It features Omron switches, a dedicated DPI button, a super responsive 1000Hz polling rate and it weighs in at only 80 grams. So this could not only be a great all round mouse but amazing for FPS games. Ok so let's take a closer look at the mouse. The dimensions of the Harpoon is 115 millimeters in length, 68.3 millimeters in width and 40.4 millimeters in height. So it's a little bit wider than what I would personally normally prefer although the mouse has recessed grooves on each side so the gripping width is more like 55 millimeters which would be a near perfect 2 to 1 ratio. My hands are 18 centimeters in length and my thumb and ring finger fit around the mouse and inside those grooves perfectly. It really does feel like my hand was used used in the design process for this mouse. I wasn't expecting this at all, it's a real pleasant surprise and let's face it, most mice at £25 aren't normally very good. Corsair have added rubberized grips to each side. I'm not normally a fan of rubberized grips but I actually love how they feel on the harpoon. The forward and back buttons moving on are placed ok. They're a little bit too far forward for my liking as I struggle to use the forward button in games. But either way they are great quality and they have a solid tactile bump and they do not travel past the actuation point. The left and right clicks feature Omron switches. They are rated to 10 million clicks. They have a larger travel distance on the harpoon compared to what you would find on a more premium mice although I really like the feel of them because each click felt slightly more noticeable because of the larger travel distance and slightly more defined. Moving on to the scroll wheel, personally I didn't like it. The scroll steps are not that well defined although over time I'm sure I could get used to it but I did struggle switching weapons in some games. But moving on to the DPI adjustment button that has perfect placement and not once did I hit it by accident. Lastly before we take a look underneath the mouse the harpoon features full RGB backlighting from the Corsair logo on the rear of the mouse. It actually has a purpose as well as it will tell you your current DPI as long as you memorize the colors it uses of course. But taking a look underneath the mouse there are four extra large Teflon feet and they make the harpoon super slidey with zero snagging. Corsair also love to run the cable on the left side of the mouse. Some people would say it upsets the balance of the mouse but myself I don't see a single issue with it. The mouse definitely feels different because of it but not in any negative way in my own personal opinion. But if we jump quickly into the Q software, you get features never seen before on a mouse of this price point. The Q software allows for full button remapping from single keys to full macro support. RGB lighting ranging from 16.8 million colours is available and you can choose various lighting effects. We also get 5 steps of DPI adjustment as well as a single sniper DPI setting that can be assigned to a single button. And here is where you can choose the different lighting options for each individual DPI adjustment. One note is in the performance tab there isn't any way of changing your lift off distance so it's a good job Corsair have set it to 3mm as any higher and I think the mouse would have been ruined although personally I would have liked it to have been around 2mm. So that's it all the specs and features wrapped up now it's time to get onto the good stuff what it's actually like to game with. Now my opinions are purely based reflecting on the price but honestly guys the harpoon is not very good. It's amazing that's right I absolutely absolutely love it. I am so impressed with it. The only issue that I did have obviously as I mentioned previously was the scroll wheel but although a little bit more practice with it I'm sure I could get used to it but I did have some trouble switching weapons in game. So I'm going to call it guys right now this is the best budget mouse ever made and it literally keeps up with the big boys and I think it's more to do with my hand size and shape being perfect for this mouse. Sure the harpoon doesn't feel that premium in your hand. The scroll wheel could 
could definitely be better and the 3320 sensor isn't quite as good as the likes of the 3366 but all of that doesn't mean much when you compare it to a great shape weight and balance and Corsair have nailed it let's all remember we're talking about an extremely cheap mouse anyone on a budget looking for a new mouse you need to pick this up and nothing else the final score for the harpoon is going to be a 9 out of 10. It was just the scroll wheel and the ever so slightly high lift off distance that stopped it from getting a 10 out of 10. But they were all very minor things and for the price of £25 and $29.99 US dollars, the features you'll get in with this mouse, it is definitely worth the 9 out of 10. And I can honestly say to you guys, you need to go and pick one of these up, even if you used it as a backup mouse, because it is a steal. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've been Mark from Totally Silence Tech. Oh, no, sorry. Silence Tech. Goodbye. <laughs>